middle of making this video, I found out that YouTube isn't having a rewind 2020. So I guess this video is just what would happen if they were to actually make it and actually make it accurately. Being in a YouTube rewind episode could be the best and the worst thing for your career. Just imagine being in an episode of YouTube rewind and then your career takes a freaking dive. Your career falls off the face of the freaking planet. Imagine taking eight years out of your life to make a brand or an image for yourself and then you go on a YouTube rewind and they completely destroy it. Like nobody will ever forget about what the hell you're about to say or what the hell you just said. There's one thing this video needs. You know, Casey always says that he stopped doing vlogs for various reasons, but I'm pretty sure that this contributed greatly. Every time I see this man, that's the only thing I think about that and... I avoid talking politics on this channel, on this forum. Hillary Clinton. I will be voting for Hillary Clinton. Now, I'm pretty sure it's not a stretch to say that YouTube Rewind isn't the greatest representation of what YouTube actually is, but it came up with some freaking beautiful freaking memes. <laughs> I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. I got into an entanglement with... Oh, that's hot. August, that's, that's hot. what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. Now, let's be honest, YouTube Rewind 2020 probably isn't even going to be all that good. And I'm making this video before YouTube Rewind 2020 comes out. That's how much faith I have in it. I can bet money that YouTube Rewind would probably pander to people saying how bad the freaking pandemic was. Meanwhile, they made the pandemic a living freaking hell for everybody on this website. I can just see the freaking ads on this video saying how bad the freaking pandemic was. How they tried to freaking make everything so freaking relatable. I can relate and I know that when you lost your job, it was hard on you. That's why we fired half of our freaking workforce. Just so that we could relate to you even more. Like, come on! That's why I'm going to make my own version of YouTube Rewind 2020 because I'm pretty sure that YouTube Rewind 2020 is going to be probably one of the worst ones of all freaking time even worse than 2018 so even if this video is bad I'm still confident that's gonna be better than what YouTube actually freaking produces I mean if I'm gonna be honest I can already see half of YouTube Rewind being on a freaking zoom call Friday 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 new videos every Friday and without further ado I give you the woman the myth and the legend herself Susan Wojcicki hi everyone welcome to YouTube Rewind 2020 remember when you can say but well, now we're gonna say throughout this entire freaking video just so that we can really to you guys a little bit more, okay? Well, let's talk about some new changes that we made to YouTube this year. Remember our old slogan, broadcast yourself? Well, we've taken drastic measures to make sure that you can no longer do that. If you want to talk about anything even a little bit controversial, you can enjoy getting zero dollars and zero cents because we don't care about your freaking opinion anymore. Now, that's nothing new to 2020, but the thing that we're making new in 2020 is these drastic changes. Now, we can sense in your facial structure and just the way if you are not smiling enough, we will delete your channel. Stay smiling! You heard me exactly correct. That means that you don't even have to talk anymore to get banned. Now, let's talk about the top creators on our platform. Platform. And we didn't pick these people because you guys actually like them. We picked them because they are extremely brand friendly and we love them. And they make us the most money. Now for our first creator and one of my favorites is Jake Paul. This man can do absolutely nothing wrong on my platform. Jake Paul's California mansion has been raided by the FBI. FBI. What in the hell is going on? Excellent question. And the answer you're looking for lies right here. Who are you? Really? Really? I am just a figment of your imagination. <laughs> What the hell just happened? I mean, let's be honest, who actually remembers that his house was raided by the FBI? I mean, seriously, who actually remembers that this man's house was raided by the fucking FBI? Jake Paul is the best creator on this website because I, Susan Wojcicki, fucking said so. I mean, if we're gonna be honest, Jake Paul has the greatest come up of freaking 2020. This man went from this. It's every day, bro. I said it's every day, bro. To this. I don't need new friends. I don't like fake friends. Only here to make games. Call when they check in. Now, I don't know how he did it, but he did it. He pulled it off somehow. Not only did he do that, but he got ready by the FBI this year. Like, how do you do that? Now, I'm not saying that he got a ghostwriter, but at the same time, I'm not saying that he doesn't have a ghostwriter. I mean, if I'm gonna be honest, it's not entirely impossible for him to write this song. I mean, if you listen to your favorite rapper's first song, I guarantee you that song is freaking trash. But at the end of the day, this is Jake Paul that we're talking about, so this is really just a freaking toss up. And for our next creator, we have our friendly neighborhood child predator, Shane Dawson. Oh, God. Oh, I'll whip your hair back and forth. Hi. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Once again, you will forget this because I, Susan Wojcicki, f***ing said so. In 2021, Shane Dawson will be the only one allowed on this platform to come up with conspiracy theories and not get demonetized. Because once again, I f***ing said so. Now, 2020 might have been the come up for Jake Paul's freaking rapping career, but 2021 has Shane Dawson written all freaking over it. If I'm gonna be 100% honest here, I'm pretty sure that all Shane Dawson has to do to get remonetized is to post a freaking video and get like 50 million views. After that, he'll get monetized. Guaranteed. I mean, his last video went number one on trending for like a freaking week, and this man was literally accused for being a freaking pedophile. I mean, anybody else is getting the channel freaking taken down, banned, you're gone. Yes. I mean, just by looking at him in his eyes, you can tell that he isn't exactly having the best time of his freaking life. It looks like he just found something that died inside his freaking closet. Oh, I didn't fuck my cat. Didn't come on my cat. I didn't put my dick anywhere near my cat. 
I've never done anything weird with my cat. And for our next creator, we have Shane Dawson's brother, Nikocado Avocado. Oh. Look, I have a hunch pack like a turtle. You know, normally on this website, you see people have a body transformation going the other way around where they go from big to skinny, but I'd love to see that somebody's doing something a little different for once in their freaking life. Congratulations to Nikocado Avocado for changing the goddamn standards. And don't worry to all of you guys that think that this is unhealthy because as soon as this falls out of style and we are no longer making enough money from it, we will shadow ban him, okay? Because I f***ing said so. This platform is not about the creators. It's about me. You guys are always wondering why I keep shadow banning people on this goddamn website. It's because f*** you, that's why. You guys are always wondering why you guys are getting demonetized. It's because f*** you, that's why. Do you honestly think that's because we can't get advertisers? No. This is goddamn YouTube. If MTV and all those other channels can get freaking advertisers, so the hell can we? It's because we don't freaking want you here. We don't like you. Now I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I watch a lot of Nikocado Avocado videos because I don't. I don't exactly find it entertaining to watch people eat, but I see a couple clips of this man and holy f***, this guy's funny. I look like a freaking mole rat that lives under the ground. I'm getting a hunchback. I look like Shrek, Shrek. He has to be one of the only people on this planet that gets roasted for being good at their freaking job. I mean, like, this guy literally gets roasted every single time he makes a video. He gets roasted in other people's videos. He gets roasted. I, I can't even imagine what the hell his comments look like. Those things must be freaking bad. I mean, you got one half of the people that watch his videos telling him how freaking funny he is and how he should keep doing it. And then you got the other half of the people that watch his videos and they probably just leave a comment saying that he should go run a lap or eat some plastic or something. And the funniest part about it is that they probably aren't even subscribed to him. I mean, people literally probably just click his video just to freaking roast his ass and then leave. And then apparently this man has a freaking OnlyFans account where he freaking spreads his freaking cheeks as far apart as he freaking possibly can. But hey, you can do whatever the fuck you want nowadays. I mean, this man is literally getting paid to eat food. Not cooking it, just eating it. That's crazy. And how can I talk about YouTube in 2020 without talking about the freaking fact checkers? You literally cannot walk your freaking dog in a park without seeing a freaking fact checker telling you about some freaking something stupid. I remember I clicked on a freaking random video talking about why the freaking sky was blue. I don't really remember what it was. It was probably some freaking curb your joke or something like that. And under it, it literally said that Joe Biden is the president. How does this have anything to do with that? Like, bro, come on. If you have a problem with anything on this freaking platform, I really don't give a f because f you, that's why. I'm not gonna act like Susan Majeski has an easy job, but Jesus Christ, you don't have to shadow ban everybody. They shadow ban PewDiePie of all freaking people and they act like nobody was gonna freaking know and they claim that it was just a glitch. If you would like to support one poor kid's dream to drop out of college, f school. The then subscribing and sharing the video would help your boy out a lot. And it would also help me be more financially independent for my mom. But if you would like to support your boy financially, I'm also selling a facial massager. When you roll it on your face, it can help to prevent pimples and acne by promoting blood circulation underneath your skin. It also vibrates, so when you get bored in the shower, you can... I'm just kidding, but it does vibrate though. It's also water resistant, so when you start using it in the shower and you start to play with yourself, you won't get shocked brutally. For some stupid reason, when I was younger and I had a pimple on my face, I would put ice on it and it helped out a lot. Face massager and ice are always cold, just like my ex-girlfriend's heart. What I'm trying to say is that it feels even better in the summer. I'm also a broke college student, so I couldn't afford to produce a lot of them, but you can see if it's available in the description down below. That's it for this week, uh, new videos every Friday, and uh... Hey Susan, how do you actually feel about the kids watching the content on YouTube nowadays? Well, it's not gonna be completely and totally Honest. Them kids, bro. The funniest comment that I've seen in 2020 was probably posted in like 2017, which is kind of ironic, but it was like, elephants are big, mountains are bigger. Everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid <laughs> You know the comment was funny as hell when you remember the same comment freaking months later. Subscribe, motherfucker.